Remember that time you went on a deficit and you lost more muscle than you lost fat. You went from this back to this instead of this. Remember that time? You know why that happened? It's because you were not insulin sensitive. You were insulin resistant. In this video, I'm going to tell you exactly how to prevent that mistake from happening all over again. How to prevent your muscle mass from being lost, your hard work, how to retain that. Insulin's job is nothing but to manage this level of glucose in your body. So glucose is there so that your blood sugar doesn't crash. Just like that, insulin is there so it doesn't rise too high, okay? When you eat too much sugary foods or uh, carbs, simple sugar, or just a lot of food in general, the blood glucose level will go very high and uh, your body, your pancreas will need to produce a lot more insulin to manage that level. Okay. At a certain point, your pancreas is not going to be able to produce so much insulin for you to manage this. At that time, what happens? It gets stored as fat. But this glucose and and carbs etc for energy right yeah but up to a certain degree after that it turns as fat you become insulin resistant but don't worry i got your back i'm going to tell you exactly how you can increase your insulin sensitivity so that you can you know enhance your fat loss journey and at the same time stay healthy and away from all these metabolic diseases number one fasting fasting or time restrictive eating like i said before when you eat some sort of food your blood sugar level it goes up exact opposite happens when you're not eating and you're not eating for a prolonged time it goes low it goes down a good time period to fast is about 15 hours i would say if you fast for 15 hours it's a very high chance that your insulin sensitivity will improve. Other than this, fasting has multiple other benefits like use your metabolism to make you feel more healthier, to increase your focus, etc. That's a topic for another video. Coming to the second tip, which is a crucial one. Quit eating processed food, quit sugars, quit having all these high carbohydrate meals. You don't need it. It's doing more bad for you than good. Eat fruits, eat complex carbohydrates, okay? You can also do things like switching from white bread to brown bread or wheat bread, white rice to quinoa or brown rice. The rate of the rise and fall in blood glucose glucose level is much much more smoother and uh, slower compared to foods like white rice and white bread for example needless to say you'll feel much better much healthier if you if your diet is on point uh, now i'm not saying you have to cut out all sorts of sugars completely but it would be beneficial if you take a step towards it for example cereals cereals are nothing but straight up sugar third tip which most people won't tell you sort of like a hack have balanced meals and increase your fiber intake okay especially with the meal. So when you're having high carbs, make sure there's enough fiber in that meal. Fiber will make your blood glucose go a little bit more stable than it normally would. Usually it will go very high, very fast. And fiber would slow that process down, make it much more smooth and make it go less higher and uh, also slower. A very important factor, okay, when you're eating high carbohydrate meals. So the amount of fiber in your meal will really, really help you to keep your blood glucose level lower than it normally would be going to. Now here's why you lost more muscle than fat. It's because your carb intake was extremely high. The nutrient timing was screwed. You were eating all the time. Even if you were on a deficit, eating very often will make you more insulin resistant. You were eating extremely high sugary foods, cereals, you were including chocolates this that not not just that but even white sugar in your tea coffee all of those can have a great impact on making you insulin resistant and if you're already obese or if you're already fat you have a significant amount of adipose tissue stored in your body it will be harder for you to be insulin sensitive so if you're fat your cells will literally resist insulin from letting the glucose into them to make matters worse the area where excess glucose is stored in your liver is already filled with fat basically this is like putting a bunch of furniture inside a, a room or a hall which is already full considering all these things you still have to be on a caloric deficit to make this happen but i gave you three easy tips where you can start off with to make yourself more insulin sensitive and uh, if you're insulin resistant how to bring that down timing etc we spoke about all those things today now don't make the same mistake you made last time follow these tips and you will not lose muscle you will lose fat when you're on your deficit i hope you enjoyed today's video i hope you learned something as usual if you enjoyed this video share this to someone like the video it'll really help me out and if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe and do check out this video right here it's about whey protein and whether or not you need whey protein it will really help you out too i'll catch you all soon in the next video until then peace have a good day